Hey y'all, Donna here at Hazel Bell Farm. I'm back in the kitchen, such as homestead life. I need a quick and easy dinner tonight. So I'm going with an Italian influence bake, starting with some ground venison sausage. Now, because I'm using venison, it is low fat. I need to add some oil to my pan and we like avocado oil. So you could use any kind of ground meat. You could use a shredded meat if you wanted, if you had a leftover rotisserie chicken, something like that would work nicely in this as well. And then I'm using uh, mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna use a jar of tomatoes you'll see later and whatever fresh veggies you'd like. I chose a squash, a zucchini, and some eggplant because that's what's fresh in the garden right now. I like using the different colors. I think that's visually appealing when it gets prepared together in the pan. So I'm slicing these about half an inch thick, doing my best to keep them as even as possible. Now you could also add in some onions or peppers, mushrooms, chopped celery, uh, make it your own, anything you'd like. A little oil in the bottom of the pan, and then I'm gonna layer in these veggies. Super simple to assemble. And just squeeze in the last bit, however you can. And then top that with a little more oil and some herbs. I used some salt and pepper to start, and then some basil, some oregano, and some rosemary. I should have added fresh minced garlic here and completely forgot. You could use a powdered garlic if you like. I added garlic at the end since I realized I forgot it. I just used a powdered garlic and sprinkled it on the top at the very end. So top the veggies with some sausage or whatever meat you chose to use. And then tomatoes. If you have fresh tomatoes, just slice those and lay them out flat. That would be beautiful. Add a little more salt to the top of these tomatoes and then some mozzarella cheese. This mozzarella is a homemade mozzarella and it's this batch was very, very soft, even a little bit sticky, but that's okay. It melts nicely. So just spread your cheese on the top and then I'm gonna finish with a Parmesan cheese. I just used the cheap uh, sprinkle green top can Parmesan cheese on top. You could use a fancier Parmesan if you have it. That would be lovely. And you can use as little or as much as you'd like here. All right. And then I did add that garlic powder, put it in the oven at 350 for about 50 minutes and served it with a garlic beer bread. Yum.